Hey Forkers, I'm going to do a 10 day green smoothie cleanse. Want to know why and more about it? Come right back. So if you follow my channel at all, you'll know that I did a Mary's Mini Potato Cleanse. And you can see those videos down below. I'll have links. Um, it's a four part series where I talk about the setup for it, two process videos, and then a wrap up video. This would be a kind of a similar format. I think it'll be more like three parts. I think I'll just do this intro video, uh, show you the process I did through the 10 days, and then come back for a wrap up afterwards. Because I want to keep this simple. I'm not going to be inventing any recipes. There's a pretty clear guide I'm going to be following. So there's not going to be any need for me to have these overinflated videos. Unless I get really sad and journally as I'm talking about my feelings as I'm going through this thing. We'll find out. I really don't know. What the hell is a green smoothie, you ask? Well, it's the idea of getting greens into your smoothie. So that comes from kale, spinach, collards, leafy greens. Different greens are going to have stronger or milder tastes. And the idea is the fruit is going to help hide those a little bit. Greens are probably the healthiest things you can have. Any of the plant-based nutritionists that I follow, it's their number one thing to eat. It's got the most nutrient density of any kind of food. So it's good to fill your body with that. I think the general ratio for greens to fruit in a smoothie is probably like 60% greens, 40% fruit, uh, if not a little bit higher on the green side. So that's kind of the idea. I think traditionally smoothies are meant to be like fruit and milk or fruit and water. This is tipping that over and just bumping up the health. So I'm following JJ Smith's 10 day green smoothie cleanse as my guide. You can find that book at libraries, online. You can find a Facebook group uh, that she runs and supports that has a really great community. Um, there's also a lot of just people have written up about this. So you can probably avoid reading the book if you wanted to, although it's a really quick read. And I would recommend getting it from the library because I don't know if it's something you need to own outside of the cleanse itself. Uh, that said, I'm going to walk you through kind of the prep and why I'm doing it and what the benefits are supposed to be. I'm not going to be giving away any of the recipes here because that's not fair. You should read her book to get those. So why am I doing a smoothie cleanse? There's a couple different reasons. One of them is I'm curious about weight loss. I think I'm at my ideal weight, but I'm not sure. People do tend to lose 10 to 15 pounds on this thing. Although that's people that are usually coming off of the standard sad American diet. I am not. I am already whole food plant-based. What I eat is pretty clean. So in terms of the detox benefits that this cleanse provides, I don't know how many of those I'm going to get because I don't really have any processed foods or processed grains. You know, the most sugars that I have are like some chocolate chips, some plant-based ice cream, and uh, you know, some chips here and there, and usually oil-free ones. So my clean is pretty clean. The other things that I really, really am curious if they'll, they'll improve for me are mental clarity, increased energy, better sleep, reduced cravings is a thing. I don't really have cravings, so I don't expect anything to change for that for me, but it could for you. Better digestion and less bloating. I found since I started drinking kombucha that I don't have um, bloating or anything like that kind of stuff anymore. My gas is better than it was. I had some pretty bad gas there for a bit. So I'm not sure if those things are gonna improve, but we'll find out. So 10 reasons to drink green smoothies, why people do it on a regular basis. They're nutrient rich. They're loaded with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, inflammatories, photonutrients, fiber, and lots of other stuff. Like I said, this is the kind of thing that promotes weight loss. A lot of people start their day with a green smoothie. I often have some kind of a green smoothie already, and I put some granola on top of it, or I have it alongside a bowl of oatmeal or something like that. Usually I don't just have that, unless I bulk it way the hell up with some nut butter or some other things. Sometimes oats, I throw oats in them. Detoxification is another thing. All of these minerals and fruits and stuff, they're gonna flush stuff out of your system along with all this extra water. Vibrant and radiant health. This stuff is supposed to like eliminate wrinkles, clear up your skin, get rid of bagginess under your eyes, all that kind of stuff. Again, I ate a pretty clean uh, diet, so I'm curious if this will help me at all. You're supposed to take photos of like your face and whatnot close up and study them and see if there's any changes over the 10 days. I'll do that, that's fun. Green smoothies are easy to digest because they're already ground up. It's not like juicing. Juicing removes a lot of the nutrients and the fibers because you're, you're not taking the whole plant. The beautiful thing about green smoothies and smoothies in general is you're keeping the fiber 
from the vegetables and the fruits because you're not getting rid of any of that. You're not throwing that stuff away. It improves hydration because it's a lot of liquid. You should just drink more water in general. It's good for you. Smoothies are delicious as shit, man. Seriously, they just taste amazing. Smoothies are easy as hell to make, especially if you have a high-speed blender like a Vitamix or a Ninja or something like that. Throw everything out together, blend it, good to go. Smoothies have unlimited options with all the different fruits and vegetables and plant milks out there and just like nuts and seeds that you can add in. I mean, you could just go for days, months, years and never have the same smoothie twice. Here are the rules for the 10 day green smoothie challenge. Cleanse, I call it a challenge because it's fun to say challenge. Drink your whole smoothie, but spread it out throughout the entire day. You're supposed to make one big smoothie at the beginning of the day and put it into three containers. So probably like three mason jars are a good idea. And then you have one at breakfast, one at lunch, and one at dinner. You should try to spread them out three to four hours between each one, like typical mealtime stuff. Eat snacks. This is not a starvation diet. You're not supposed to only have these smoothies. You would probably starve if that was the case. These things are only like four to 600 calories each. And honestly, that's something I would have for one meal. So spreading that over the course of three meals is kind of crazy. So the idea that I can add like apples and carrots and other veggies and a handful of nuts a couple times a day, that makes a lot of sense to me. That still means I'm probably only gonna eat a thousand calories a day. I'm gonna actually track my calories while I'm doing this because I'm curious to see. I haven't done that in a while and I don't like the idea of tracking calories, but I'm gonna do that just out of curiosity for this thing at the end of the day. I'm not gonna do it as I'm going along because I wanna just eat instinctively. The other thing is for the snacking, you wanna make sure it's purposeful snacking. You're not snacking because you're bored, you're snacking because you're actually hungry. So this diet will hopefully also help me just really cue into my, my hunger sensors and go, am I eating because I'm bored or am I eating because I'm hungry? You're supposed to drink at least 64 ounces of water every day and have detox tea. I'm gonna start my day with detox tea. That's what they recommend. Keep your bowels moving. Make sure you have proper amounts of bowel fluid movements. You should have at least a bowel bowel movement once a day, they say. If not, there is apparently this salt water flush you can do. I'm really hoping I don't have to do that. And then just stay away from the foods you're not supposed to eat, like refined sugars, meat, milk, cheese, dairy, liquor, beer, diet sodas, sodas, processed food, fried food, refined carbs, and coffee. That's gonna be the hardest one for me. That's the thing I'm actually worried about the most. And I was gonna not do that, but I gotta do something that's hard. I'm not cutting out any of those other things because I've already cut them out of my life. So I gotta do something that's challenging for me. So JJ in her book also warns us of detox symptoms. What the hell are the detox symptoms of a green smoothie diet? Headaches, probably from the lack of coffee, I would imagine, I'm expecting to have headaches. Apparently I'm allowed to have some acetaminophen, which is a Tylenol or aspirin for you people. Um, I will probably end up having a little bit of that throughout, I'm not gonna lie. She warns against nausea. I don't know what that's from, maybe from the coffee too. I hope we don't get nausea. Cravings? I'm not expecting any cravings because I don't really have any anymore outside of the foods that I'm allowed to eat on here. So I'll be fine. Fatigue. I think this is because as the toxins drain out of you, you get tired. But again, I don't have many toxins in me outside of the coffee. Uh, but one of the things listed is improved sleep. So I'm wondering if this won't make me have more sleep. I try to get between six and seven hours of sleep a night. Probably not enough. It's enough for me. I thrive on little sleep, but it wouldn't be bad if I got a little bit more. Muscle aches are apparently a symptom. Apparently you can expect to have mucus coming out a little bit, maybe a runny nose. I'll let you know all about that, people. Skin rashes, maybe, acne. Again, as your body's being flushed of all these toxins, apparently it can cause some acne. Again, I don't have the toxins, I'm not expecting that, but I'll let you know. Irritability. Yeah, I feel like I'm probably gonna be irritable because I'm not having my coffee and because I'm gonna be eating a lot less food than I normally will. Although I am gonna do the snacking, and I'm gonna eat when I'm hungry. So I'm hopefully not going to be starving on this thing, because that isn't the point of it. It's not meant to be a starvation diet again, even though the calories are really low, but also really high in nutrients. So we're gonna see. I'll report at the end of each day how many calories I consumed and let you know how I felt throughout the day.
So that's that. Come back for the following parts of this as I let you know how the cleanse itself went and then how it went a couple weeks after and if I felt like I had any lasting effects, positive or negative. Uh, if I lost any weight and if I kept it off. Thanks for following Forkers and checking this out. If you've ever done a smoothie cleanse, let me know in the comments below. Where are you doing this from? Where are you watching from? Can you share this? Can you show me photos of your smoothies? What are your favorite smoothie recipes? Tell me all the things. Like us, share us, subscribe. Thanks, Forkers.